Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome, make sure you hit that subscribe button. In today's video, I'm going to be doing my little does it work sort of first impressions review on the Quick Flick. So, I found this in Priceline like last year, and I just haven't gotten around to trying it because busy life. But I thought, definitely need to hurry up and try this. So, this is kind of a new idea in the world of makeup I wouldn't say this is a new product it's definitely been around a while um around a lot longer than it's been it's been around for like ages and then eventually they got put into Priceline which is an amazing idea to have it accessible Australia wide so you don't just have to like order this online of some website so yeah um this was such an interesting product I really had to try it so basically it's um stamps that you can use to create your winged liner and as someone who is terrible at winged liner um this really did speak to me i was like yes this is something that needs to come into my life i need to have this and let's just say even with the quick look i still suck <laughs> but uh, definitely not as bad as what i did before the quick flick so yeah it's definitely going to take me a bit more practice um, but, you know, practice makes perfect, right? So I'll insert a little clip of me trying it for the first time. I did it on this eye before I filmed this one. Um, this dye is so dodge. <laughs> this one is not as bad. Um, I think because this is my dominant hand, so it was a bit easier rather than having to do it the other way. Hence why I tried that side first. But, um, again, this still ain't perfect. They're both not even. The line across the lid is all wonky it's it's not as bad as it could have been without the quick flick so i'll give it that um but i'm definitely gonna have to practice a lot more in order to be on fleek so yeah watch this now centimeter wing I think they have an eight centimeter and a 12 centimeter as well so I thought why not go for the middle size um, but they also have another a huge range of colors as well so if you do want black you could always go for brown or like a crazy color or something and I think they also have like a thin one now as well um, but yeah I think that's great that you can it's not just one wing fits all you can fit the wing to your face um, and you can, get, you can get all the sizes just to depend on how dramatic you want to be that day so inside the box you get two pens one for each eye obviously you can't use the same stamp on each eye um so it comes with an eyeliner pen as well to draw the rest and connect and then it comes with a little stamp so for this is the 10 centimeter that's how big they kind of look um which is a decent size i mean i'm happy like if it was any smaller I'd probably end up just trying to draw it bigger, so I'm glad that I did get the middle size one. Um, I, would, I don't think my face shape would need a bigger than this. Um, I guess you know, everyone's eyes is different. Um, one thing I would have to say, bleeding is minimal. I wouldn't say it doesn't exist in this product, but I would say it's minimal. Um, and also, I feel like it could be blacker. Um, it is black. Don't get me wrong, but it could be blacker. Um, I guess also this is a product for beginners and if it was super black, it would be also hard to not say correct, but maybe disguise a mistake. Um, so maybe that is sort of a good thing. Um, once you get the hang of it, then you can 
go on to just freestyle drawing it on. Um, again, you know, it, it is what it is. Um, I think it's an amazing product and I'm definitely going to continue practicing it. Um, it's just, <laughs> this was the first time using it. This is my first impression. My eyes look quite dodge, <laughs> but that is not the fault of the product. That is the fault of my wobbly hand. Um, but yeah, I definitely think this is a great product once you get the hang of it. Um, so yeah, the eye is very dodge compared to that one. Still not perfect, but like, it's really like wonky line. <sighs> and there's like a little line above the wing as well. And this one is all right. It just doesn't quite connect properly. But the thing I found is that when I stamped it on, kind of needs like a, you to add a little line underneath the eye. Again, this side, dodge. This one, I think I did it a bit better. It just kind of emphasizes that bare area. Um, I guess for those of you who are comfortable tight lining on the top waterline, that's something I haven't managed to be able to do without walking around crying and stabbing myself in the eye and having eyeliner go everywhere on my eye. It's just my eye, my upper waterline just isn't used to that. So I think that's something else if you're going to use this product that you can either live with having that flesh line or you need to practice tight lining, which I'm, I'm good for now. <laughs> um, I can do my lower waterline easy as pie. I used to do that every single day in high school, but the upper waterline it's too painful. <laughs> like I'm going to end up squinting, uh, liner everywhere. So if you can do that, that's something that I think would help. Um, and if you are familiar with wing liner, I guess this is a time saver. So yeah, I really enjoyed the product and I can't wait to keep using it. Um, and I highly recommend it. Um, it was from Priceline. Let me see how much it was. So, on the um, Priceline website, the normal size ones, like the normal, like of these, but the um, the grand, the modest, as what I have, and then the petite, they're all thirty dollars. And then they've got the new quick flip to the point, which I think is that like the new skinny sort of um, one, and that's thirty nine ninety five. I think when I originally got this, it was more than thirty dollars. I think it was thirty nine ninety five. Um, last year i can't remember the price but um that price line it comes it says two more colors so i'm assuming that it's black brown i don't know so there's black brown and navy available from price line i know from the quick flick website you can get other colors um but for someone who's only trying these out um black brown and navy are probably good enough um i think if I, I keep practicing at this and can master it then i would consider definitely investing in all the colors um but for right now um it's definitely something i need to master first before going out and spending more um but i highly recommend doing it if you think oh i really struggle with wing liner and you want to wear wing liner i've always just avoided wing liner because I don't have time to practice it but now with this half the practice is already done I've already got to practice the whole positioning of the wing and the connection part whereas before I had to master the entire wing so now half the work is taken out for me so I feel like I can spend the time ruining my makeup trying to practice at this um it was just too risky before so yeah I will continue wearing the quickly throughout the day just to see how it lasts. There's a little product information on um, the Priceline website. That's just because it's where I bought it from. I guess the Quick Click site might have um, something similar to this, but basically they've said the original patent winged eyeliner stamp, the Quick Flick, designed exclusively by Quick Beauty. The Quick Flick in modest 10 millimeters, this is what the size that I got, is the perfect in-between size, which I definitely agree with that. I'm measuring 10 millimeters in size for a classic modest winged cat eye look. No need to dip into ink or line with liquid. The quick flick is preloaded with ink so you can stamp, line and go. Say goodbye to your winged eye woes and hello to perfect wings. The quick flick creates a flawless flick that is beautiful on point every time. I wouldn't say every time, because you've still got to do the rest of the 
lining, the lining of the eye and you've got to position it correctly, but it's definitely a million times better than I could do without it. So I definitely agree with what they've said there. Um, it says it is 100% waterproof, smudge proof and sweat proof. Okay. Uh, it's the middle of winter. I'm not going to be sweating, but smudge proof and waterproof. That is something we can test today. Um, I will maybe film a little clip of me trying to remove the liner with my um, face halo, um, just what I use to remove my makeup, if I remember. <laughs> um, and smudge proof, or maybe before I remove it, I'll try smudging it because I don't want to ruin my makeup for the whole day. Um, but yeah, I will get back to you at the end of the day for all of that. So it's been about nine hours and it's pretty, it lasted pretty well, but, and if you rub it with a dry finger, yeah, it doesn't smudge, but let's see if it is waterproof and I'm not even going to like wash it off. I'm just going to get a little wet finger and swipe it. It's pretty faded there. I wouldn't call it waterproof. If it was waterproof, it would take a lot to get it off. So, sorry, it ain't waterproof. So, yeah, guys, if you liked this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.